Well, it's another away day today. I'm going to watch a Cheshire League game today. I'm going to Kings Road, which is in Charlton Cum Hardy, and it's the home of Wally Range. And they are taking on Lostock Grayland today. So, it's, as you can see, it's a very nice day. About half an hour to go before kickoff. So, I've got lots of time. Looking forward to the game. This is Kings Road and the ground is down here on the right because I've driven past it once I tried to park in there but there wasn't room so I've had to come away park away from the ground and walk back enter through the terraced houses reminiscent of Luton Town this is the ground down here Pretty nice, first impressions. Oh yeah, nice field. Oh, nice looking clubhouse they've got here too. To go and inspect it. Yes, nice little impressive setup they've got up here. Nice little training pitch here as well, as you can see. This is the main pitch. It looks in very good condition as well, considering it's the end of the season. I've just done my bit for today. The old fella there didn't know how to put the tripod up right, so I had to help him out there. <laughs> Well, I've just about circumvented the ground now before kickoff, and I've still got 15 minutes. I reckon it's time to go and try a pint in the clubhouse. What do you think? I think that's well in order. They're back for the game, and the game is underway. And Wally Ranger in the red. And I'm just working my way around to get a good view from the side. Got my mate in the shade now. And back to the game. So there's been one shot so far. Wally Ranger had the first shot, but it was straight at the keeper. This is the first corner of the match going to Wally Range. Not cleared yet, it's still not cleared. Bouncing dangerously there. Oh, he kept it in. Is there a break on now? There's quite a decent crowd there watching as well. I haven't counted them, but there's uh, quite a good turnout really. Nice day though as well. Wally on the attack again. Having the best attacking so far. And we're only 10 minutes in. I'm not sure where they are in the league either, both sides. Another corner now for Wally. He's not taking advantage of them. Oh, no, 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 no. 
That's the first corner now for Lost Up Raylum. Oh, that was close. That was close. Take two. Who's going to have a do, is he? No. Quarter of the way through the match there and Wally Range almost took the lead, chipped the keeper, he hit the bar, came off the the defender headed it. Oh I was unlucky put it that way. Oh almost sneaked in there but keeper was down well for it. Almost an own goal that one. That was a good save. Oh, that could have been dangerous. Could have been dangerous that. It's kept it in anyway. Good one too. Oh! Again, straight at the keeper. Too hard. the first goal. So Wally Rain to take the lead with 10 minutes to go in the first half. Time is almost up now for this half. That looked like a foul to me. Give the play on. One nil to the home side.
I uh, just talking to the linesman there just before they kicked off and uh, he tells me Wally Range are pushing for the title. They're second or third and they've got a few, quite a few games in hand. And Lostock Graylam are just sort of mid-table so they're just playing for pride today. I don't think that weren't where he expected it to go. Let's try it again. Good corners. And there's a second goal. Centre half popped it in there. Deserved 2 0 lead, I would say. Oh, an excellent save, that excellent save. Should have done a bit better than that, really. Ten minutes into the second half, it's a corner to Lostock. To Norvell. That was going to go in. A good save then. That was an attempt on goal. Good efforts again. A bit of shooting practice, I think. Well, with about four minutes remaining now, 
and Lostock have just got a, a free kick for a handball which they're about to take oh gone for a corner Two minutes left now, and it's another corner. Well done, keeper. That's a good centre. Oh, what a miss. He should have had that. That was a bad miss. And the referee brings matters to an end. It's 2-0 for the home side. Probably deserved, I would say.